2024 Prime RVX 36. Maybe she's all that. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com looking at the Prime RVX 36. Just like the 32, the 34 before it has the same features. Front mount, pick mount, rear mount integrated rest system, integration for a, their own quiver system that attaches through the back of the riser instead of the side of the riser, which is pretty cool and has a very low profile. Interchangeable module, same as last year. However, you have let off adjustments. So you have a 75, 80, and 85 adjustment in the mod that is an additional part that comes with each bow to allow you to set it at what you like. Still using 8,000 series aluminum. Not a lot of bow manufacturers making this long of a parameter of bow in their hunting line, so it's pretty cool that they're offering that. Um, this is a 330 foot a second bow at 4.7 pounds at 36 axle to axle and six and three quarter inches of brace height. So let's see what we get on those. All right. Axle to axle first is 36 and maybe a tiny bit more because this little yardstick is only 36 inches. So that's like 36 and an eighth or 36 and a 16th. Six and three quarter they're saying, and that's easily six and three quarter of the front of the string. So that's fair, a fair number for sure. Riser length is 31 and three quarters. Pretty long riser length there. And reflex geometry. Two inches it looks like, yep. Two inches of reflex, just like all the other ones we tested. This bow is supposed to weigh 4.7, so let's see what it weighs. We'll probably give two tenths for the rest and these little rubber doodads here that you could just take off and aren't technically part of the bow, and that's probably how they weigh those things. We're pumping in at five to four nine, four nine to five, so right there, you're in the, you're in the ballpark. You're not being off on your weight. <clears throat> 70.3, I almost don't have to touch it, but I gotta give it just one little tiny nudge. I gotta get it within two tenths of a pound. We'll see if that'll do it. Ha, better do that again. Apparently that was a pound. Sixty-nine point eight. That is within two tenths. Let's see what the draw length measures out at. Long, look long, strong. All right, so we're thirties on the back end of the hole, and I would almost say off of the hole. So this is probably more like thirty and over an eighth. So this bow's a little long from what they said. A little more than the other two that we tested, but it's still not terribly far off. But I would say it's thirty and an eighth. All right, RVX thirty-six. 350 grain arrows, 70 pounds, 30 inches. Let's just see how she feels. Like the other two bows, it cycles really smooth. Don't really feel much for vibration. I mean, it feels pretty darn good. Which is saying something, the longer your bow gets, the more it typically vibrates. And there's a little bit, but it ain't a ton. And it's odd that their 32 inch bow seemed to have more vibration than either of these. That's kind of odd. Because usually a shorter riser, less vibration, longer vibr riser, more vibration. All right, let's see what we get for vibes. All right, vibes test. RVX 36, 70 pounds, 30 inches, 350 grain arrows, three shots. Let's go. Ten forty nine. 
1241. Eleven oh two, so we'll give that an eleven. All right, first speed test: Prime RVX thirty six, seventy pounds, three hundred fifty grain arrows, thirty inches of draw length. We are looking for three hundred and thirty feet a second. Three hundred and eleven feet a second. Three hundred and fourteen feet a second. Three hundred and fifteen feet a second. So I'll give you a three fourteen fourteen. I'll give you a three fourteen. All right, Prime RVX 36, 70 pounds, 30 inches, 450 grain arrows. 278. 280. Two seventy nine. Two seventy nine average. All right, let's try the five fifties. Two fifty four. Two fifty five, two fifty five. All right, two fifty five average there. Okay, speed three fourteen. Physical weight, 4.7. Axle to axle, 36. It was the 36 and a eighth, if I remember right. Uh, brace three and six and three quarter. It was six and three quarter. Give you five there. Give you a four because it's off a little bit, but still a good dimension. On a 36 inch axle to axle bow with a riser that length, I think you could make that bow lighter without too much of a work, but it's still not heavy. So I'll give you a four. Uh, actual draw length was long, it was 30 and a quarter. So you're getting a three there. You're getting outside the realm. 30 and reflex was two inches. I'm gonna give you a two there because you should be able to make a bow with a lot less reflex when you're dealing with a six and three quarter parameter. It shouldn't need to be that much. Uh, and speed, I'm, I'm still giving you a one. You can't be off by that much. I mean, it's better than it was, but it's still 16 feet. And for a six and three quarter inch brace height bow, that is a bit on the slow side, comparatively speaking. It's not horrible, but if you're gonna be off that bad, I'm gonna mark you way down. It's just not right. Tunability to be a three, just like the other ones. I'd like to see some other features coming in there. Not terribly bad. Their features were similar as the others. Give you a four there. Balance is good for, I, once again, I don't know why you don't cut the riser the other way to try to get it balanced out. Back wall is real good, four, there's still a little give to it. Grip's a four, it's just not perfectly squared, so it's harder to feel in my hand, but it is comfortable, and it is a, a good overall feel. And five, draw cycle's stellar, because your bow's so slow. 
uh, vibration for that long of a bow, I'm giving you a five. I mean, it's hard to get a bow with that low a number at that length. That's not easy to do. Now, the bow price on these is $100 more. Let's stand up here. It's $100 more than the other ones, so I don't think it's a ridiculous ask on the price, but I don't know. I almost want to... At $12.99, yeah, I'll, I'll still give you a four. I still think that's relatively fair for what you're asking. All right, so 9, 10, 17, 20, 22 on this one. And 12, 17, 18, and 21, 25, 30. So, mind you, a decent amount of this is just simply my opinion, and it's how I feel about it. Um, you can argue with me about it all you want, but right here, in today's day and age, shouldn't happen. Most people are paying attention to that. Um, and I'm going to keep pointing it out and I'm going to keep making a big deal out of it until you correct it. Uh, this is multiple years in a row that I've tested prime and come up with that result. So this is not new information. This is not like a shocker. What would be a shocker is if they corrected it because I've talked about it for three years straight now. Please, please fix the speed. You've got a lot of other good things that you're offering here and positive things that I would like to point out and emphasize. And that's why you're still getting pretty decent numbers here. Just please fix the speed. Like either advertise a speed that's somewhere near what you can get or start producing it out faster, one of the two. Comment down below if I'm being a bully. Maybe I am, I don't know. But I, I get pretty uh, annoyed over time of seeing the same thing over and over and over from one brand when there's a lot of good positive things to offer, but I can't not point that out because it's so blatant. So thanks for following along.